Hi, this is Mira from Alaya Pilates. This is a back strengthening class. This is a fantastic class to train your back muscle to be strong and flexible so they can support your spine. We're going to start with some series of exercises to open up the front chest as well as uh, to mobilize the spine. And then we'll move on into a series of Pilates exercises that will strengthen your back muscle. So let's begin. We're going to start lying on your side. It's called the chest opener all around the world. Okay, take your arms forward and you're welcome to have a pillow underneath your head if that feels more comfortable for you. Okay, so lifting the bottom waist. Now I want you to stack up your arms and then go ahead and reach the front arm away. And I want you to rotate the arms up over your head and then trail the arms down on the floor and keep rotating the arm down towards your hips and then forward in front of your hand and then again up over to the back and then down to the hips and then reach forward such a fantastic way for us to start releasing that tightness in the front of your chest so we can tap onto the back muscle in the second half of the class. And then stick the arms forward again and then go ahead and reverse the other way, down behind sho shoulders and up over. And again, forward, reach out as far as you can and then down and then rotate up and reach out as far as you can. And one more, allow the spine to open and to rotate. And then bring it back and stack it up. Okay, now the next one. I want you to straighten the top leg and straighten the top arm. Reach away the arm and the leg as far as you can. And then go ahead and rotate the spine onto the floor. Open your arms into a T position. And then reach the arms up bring it over the head and then bring your pelvis on top of the bottom one and then bring your arms and the leg back and then inhale reach it up and out and open twist and then back reach and then close to arm and leg two more arm and leg reaching out and twisting out to open lying on your back and then reach the arm and the leg and then bring the arm and the leg closed and then one more time reach it up and then open the arm into a T position and lifting up and bring it back. Okay, coming up over to the other side, please. So same way, stack up the arms, legs together, have your feet aligned with the spine. And then from here, go ahead and reach the arm away, lift the arms overhead and rotate it back and then down to the hips. And again, reach the arm away, lifting up and rotate back and then down to the hips. Two more times, inhale. Try to make this movement nice and smooth and controlled. And last one, reaching out and trail the hands on the floor and then bring it down and forward and front. Now reverse, reach forward and down and out. And up and forward and down and out and up and forward and down two more and up and away and last one and reach out left Okay, so reach the arm and the leg out, stretch it out as much as you can, and go ahead and rotate the body out to a flat. And in, lift, and then bring it back. All right, three more, reaching out, and rotate back. And lift, lengthen it out, and then bring it forward. And two more, reach the arm and the leg, and open, rotate. And reach the arm and the leg again, rotate at the hip and bring the arm back. One more time, reach the arm and rotate back. And lifting up and bring it back in front of you. Okay, now transition your body onto your back. 
We're gonna move on to the pelvic curl. So arms on the long by the side, feet are hip width apart, chest nice and open. Right, take an inhale, exhale, go ahead and scoop the lower abs in. I want you to imprint that back onto the floor and then start rolling up the spine, coming up onto your bridge position here. One straight line from the shoulders all the way to the knees, please. Inhale and exhale, roll the spine down to all the way and release the pelvis at the end. Let's do it again. Roll the spine up, articulate up all the way to the bridge position. Try to think about pulling your hamstring towards your heels. And then exhale, go ahead and melt the spine down and release the pelvis at the end. Let's go again. Roll it up here, all the way to the bridge. Okay, here. I want you to then take the arms up, float them arms as you roll the spine down to the floor. And go ahead and roll the pelvis up and then take your arms up and then down towards your feet side. And go ahead and roll the spine down and the arms will reach overhead. Okay, and again, exhale to roll up Reach, 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 in breath. Exhale to roll down and lengthen. Now, roll it up again, one last one, all the way to the bridge. Now hold that bridge position. Now I want you to float your arms up to the ceiling, palms facing to each other here. So hold the position of the pelvis. Now the next one is, you're going to drop the left hip down. Your knees are still pointing towards your feet direction and then bring the pelvis up over to the other side, right hip down and again. So a little hip drop or alternate hip drops while keeping your arms towards the ceiling and then the other right hip down and up. Left hip down and then press up. Right hip down and then press up. And then left and we press and then right and then we press one more each side and we press and the last one we press up and roll the spine down okay now let's float one leg up to the tabletop hold and a second leg up to the tabletop keep the knees nice and tight and keep the arms over the shoulder like so now drawing the center in nice and uh, deep into the center. We lower both legs down. We're going to try to tap those toes on the floor and then bring the leg up. And then inhale, let's tap. And then exhale, pull it back again. And inhale to maintain the stability in the waistline. Maintain the, uh, the position of the spine as you lift and lower the legs. Two more. Inhale down movements from the hip socket and then and last one down and bring it up stay hold the legs now we're going to take your arms overhead as you inhale and then exhale bring the arms back towards the ceiling and inhale again arms overhead again take care that your rib cage should not flare out Right, so allowing the ribs to draw down towards the belly bone or towards your hips as your arms goes overhead. Two more times, inhale, arms overhead. And then exhale, back. Last one, arms overhead. And then exhale, brilliant. All right, hold the arms and the legs here. Now, single leg stretch, we stretch one leg out and then pull it in. Try to keep the height of your feet Nice and even here, and consistent all the way. And an exhale, pull in. Inhale, belly goes in as you extend the legs, and stretch the leg out, and exhale, pull it in. And then stretch the leg out, exhale, pull it in. One more each side, exhale, pull it in. And the last one, we're gonna add the arm. So left leg long, and then right arm over, head like so and then pull it back and then left sorry right arm long left arm overhead and then back left leg long right arm overhead exhale inhale reach exhale inhale reach exhale and reach exhale one more each side and Last one, reach it out, hold that center, 
Bring it in, squeeze the legs together, take your arms out to the side here, palms facing up, press the back of your arms down, moving on into our spine twist supine. So I'm going to rotate towards you. So we're gonna inhale to twist the spine, keep the knees together and exhale, rolling the spine back to the middle. And then inhale over to the other side and then exhale, center. And inhale, press in the back of your palms or back of your arms onto the floor and then exhale, center. And an inhale over to the other way. And an exhale. Let's go one more each side. And an inhale. And exhale. And last one. And exhale. Okay. Lower one foot down, second one down. Let's go ahead and stretch your legs away on the floor and take your arms overhead. Moving on into our roll up. So we take the arms out, fall up by the chest, lift coming up, make sure your legs are in the middle. And then go ahead, exhale, round that spine, come up into your C curve. Now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna take your arms up and we're gonna straighten the back. Then we're gonna flex the spine into a C curve again. And then we're gonna roll back, 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 and then the arms Pull it through overhead. Inhale, arms, head lift, chest lift into a chest lift position, and then roll up into a seeker. And go ahead and stack the spine up, arm comes up overhead. And again, arms forward into the seeker, roll back, roll back, roll back, and arms overhead. And two more, inhale, and exhale, and lift, and C curve, roll back, and arms overhead. One last one, in, and exhale, and lift, lift, and we stay. Hold here, let's add some shorter flexion. So we're gonna pull the arms back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then collapse the arms overhead here, just adjust the bottom here. Now flex the feet towards you. We're gonna do some spine twist, supine, sorry, sit at spine twist, not supine position, but sitting. So go ahead and twist towards me, double breath. Inhale, center, over the other side. Inhale, center, exhale, twist, twist, inhale. Exhale, in breath, exhale, inhale. Stay nice and long and lift it. Two more sets and lift and lift. Last set and lift, last one and center. Well done. All right, bring your feet apart. Hip width apart or slightly wider than the pelvis, also fine. Take your arms forward. We're going to go into a spine stretch forward. And I'm going to add some extension in the spine here. So we breathe out, rounding the spine forward. And then we're going to inhale to reach the arms, lengthen the back into a diagonal position like so. And then exhale, flexing back again. And roll the spine upright position and then articulate the spine down, roll it down, roll it down, roll it down. Inhale, reach it up, reach it up, reach it up, long. And then exhale, rounding, rounding, and roll up and tall. Two more times, and rolling forward. Inhale, reach, reach, diagonal line. So you wanna make sure that your back is starting to activate here. And then exhale, and roll up. One more time, and rolling forward, reach it out, and let's stay here for a second. Let's add some arm shoulder flexion here. So again, pull the arms back for 10, nine, eight, seven, stay tall, stay long, five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead and round that spine forward and roll back upright. Now I want you to collapse your hands together like so. Reach it out. We're going to do a little variation of a saw here. So 
rotating towards me. Then you're gonna hinge forward. Now press the back of your palm against the foot and then we're gonna twist the spine, open up and then bring your arm back again. Nice long back, arms upright. Center, twist, hinge forward. Press the back of your palm against the foot and then open the other arm, finding that twist and a long spine, bring it up, center, and we twist, and we reach, press the back of the palm, push against it, and we twist, 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 and then come back, and then bring it up, center, and twist, and reach, press the back of your palms against the foot, and now use that to try to open the chest as much as you can, and then hands back, collapse the hands upright, center, last a twist, hinge forward, pressing, open, and then return, close the hands, up, center, last one, twist, hinge forward, press the back of your hand, rotate, and come back, lifting, center, and let it go. Well done. Bring your feet together. Actually, no, hip width apart. Bend the knees. Bring your feet closer towards your bottom. Now, I have my left hand behind my back here and my right hand between my knees. So, we're going to do a modified and a variation of a back support. We're gonna press your feet down, press your hands down, lift the pelvis up, coming up, and I want you to reach the top arm up, Look away, reaching up high to the sky, and hinge down, looking forward in front of you. Repeat three more times. Inhale, lift, reach it out, look up to the sky, and then come back. Two more. Press the feet down, lift up, reach up to the sky, and then come back down. One more time. Press the feet, reach up, lift it up, reach it out, and come back. All right, on to the other side. So my right hand behind my back, my left in front between my legs. I press my hands down, lift my pelvis up. I'm gonna reach the arm, rotating my spine, looking up to the ceiling, and then come back down. And try to keep the pelvis square here. And press, lift the pelvis, reach up, twist the upper back, and then hinge down. It's got two more. So square hips and rotated ribs. And then down, one more time. Press, lift, reach, reach, and coming down. Awesome, all right, now straighten both legs, hands behind your back. Let's go to the back support here. So press the heels, hands down, press the hips up, neck is long. Stay here on three, two, one, hinge down. Two more times, and press up, neck long. Stay, three, two, hips up and down. Two more, and press the heels, lift the hips, neck is long, hold three, two, one, and down. One last one, press the heels, lift the hips, chest is open, stay here. Three, two, one, Brilliant, all right, cross the leg, transfer the hands in front of you onto your quadruped position, please. Align the shoulders and your hands and your knees and your hips. Now, we're going to do some scapular retraction and protraction, so gliding of the scapular bone. Now, starting with the back nice and long. Now, what's gonna happen is I draw the scapula toward each other, towards like so, and then press open, all right? Glide the shoulder blade towards each other and then press out. So you'll be doing that in a quadruped position. Right, gliding the shoulder blade towards the middle and then push the floor away, draw in that center. And then glide the shoulder blade, meeting them towards the middle and then push away, separating the shoulder blade. And two more, gliding and then push away, ribs in. And the last one, glide them in and then press away. Now keep them open and apart. Hold from the front abdominal here. Moving on to your scat stretch. So we breathe out to push the floor away into spinal flexion and then into a flat back, into an arch. And again, into spinal flexion. 
round back, flat back, and an arch. And three more. Spinal flexion, drop the head, flat back, and an arch. Last one, round back, and flat back, and then an arch. Come back into a nice long back. Now, let's go ahead and extend your right leg long. Okay, now stabilize the pelvis, lift the pal or lift the leg up, sorry, and then bend the knees, draw in and then flex the spine as you pull the knee towards the chest and then slide the leg out again into a nice long back. And then draw the knees in and flex, flex, flex. Two more, reach, flat, long back. And then draw the knees. Last one, reach away and then draw the knees all right go ahead and extend the leg out again now stay here i want you to really hold that ribs in and keep the shoulder blades apart now i want you to draw the elbows back i want you to just tip a little push up here and then push out and reach elbows back chest forward towards the floor and then push away and then two more and exhale shoulder blade stays away apart last one and then press out, lower the foot down and bring it in over to the other side, please. So extend the left leg long here and then we reach out, knees in, flex the spine, inhale, reach out and then exhale, round back, knees in. Shine your sternum away from your foot and then draw it in, push the earth away. One more time, reach long and then draw it in. And then go ahead and extend the leg again. Hold onto a push up. Elbows back, chest down. And press. Elbows back, chest forward. And out. And two more. Good work. And last one. And press. Lower the leg down and bring it in, okay? Now, keep the spine long and then go ahead and flex the spine. You're gonna wag your tail to the left and you're gonna look towards the left and center. Wag the tail to the right and look towards the right. So we're adding a lateral flexion in a quadruped position. So engaging, or sorry, working onto our QL muscle here as we are in a quadruped position. So flexing to the side, center. One more side, flexing, and then center. And flexing, good job. All right, now tuck the feet under. Now we'll go ahead and push yourself up into our upstretch position. All right, just give yourself a little moment to stretch the back of your legs, finding that sitting bone reaching out away from the pelvis and the neck to elongate away from the shoulder and reaching the tip of the head towards the floor. Stay one more set of breath and exhale. And then go ahead and come back again to quadruped position. All right, now we're gonna hold that center in. Tuck the toes under behind you. I want you to press the floor away Engage the back muscle, engage the shoulder blade apart. So tapping onto your lats. Now push the floor away, I want you to hover here. So the knees are floating off the floor. Now we're gonna stretch your right leg out and then pull it in. Left leg stretch and pull it in. Right leg stretch and pull it in. Left leg stretch, stabilize the pelvis. Hold the trunk. Neck is long. Engage the back muscle. Make sure that you don't slouch down or around the spine like so. Yeah, stay long. Out and in. And out. Two more sets. And out. And out. Last set. Out. Last one. Out. Okay, let's take the legs out again into your full plank. And go ahead and lift the pelvis up onto your upstretch or downward facing dog here. So finding that elongation or reaching a sensation from the tailbone, the sitting bone, and then as you he draw the heels down to the floor. All right, now from here, go ahead and bring the chest forward again into your plank position or front support position. Okay, hold that center and lift it up to your upstretch. Two more, into 
the front support. And then bring it back. And one more front support. And then bring it back. Okay, heel is down. Now stay here for a moment. We're gonna add some of the uh, push-ups here. So I call it a pike push-up or the abstract push-up. Right, lift the heels up, neck is nice and long, shoulders open, and then we're gonna open the elbows out and then push the floor again. Inhale, out to the side, and then exhale. And again, on to three, oh, let's do six here. And on to four, and press. On to five, and press. And the last, and press. Heels down, knees down, sit back for a moment, stretch the arms out in a rest position, stay in, inhale, and exhale, and transition yourself down onto the floor here. Okay, so moving on into some basic back extension series. So arms along by the side, look as though you have a side pocket, you want to slit the hands and the fingers onto into that pocket. Right, hovering the head. Now here, inhale, we're gonna reach the chest, lift the spine, and exhale, we go down. And again, inhale, reach the arms to the side, press it into your thigh, keep the neck long, lift the back, and exhale. And three more, inhale, reaching up. So glide the sternum away from the floor. Imagine it's like an airplane about to take off from the ground. And then two more, reach it up, lift it up, lengthening up, and come down. Last one, inhale, reach up, lift, and let's stay here, guys. Now, we're gonna take the right arm forward like a windmill, and then palms down, switch. And then lift, arm, and then switch. Just keep breathing here, inhale, and then exhale. And then two more, inhale, and then exhale. And the last set, inhale, and then exhale. Both arm down by the side, and release. All right, coming onto your forearm, I want you to create like a fist, like in your hands. Keep the arms shoulder width apart. Open that shoulder. Bring your chest up into an extension position. Now here, we'll start with some shoulder blade glide again. So we're gonna draw the shoulder blades together, slouch your body away, and then push the floor away and glide the shoulder blades apart. And inhale, and exhale, push away. And two more, inhale, gliding in. And then push away. And last one. And then push away. Hold, let's go into single leg kick. So lift the legs up off the floor. And we go with the right leg, double breath. And inhale, and inhale, and exhale, 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 inhale, inhale, and. Two more set, keep the shoulders strong. Last set, pick up the lower abs and inhale and inhale. Stretch the legs away and release. All right, push the floor away, round the spine. Reaching the pelvis down to your heels for your rest position. Stay, inhale and exhale. And then roll yourself up, bring the legs forward. Okay, feet apart. And we roll down, roll down, roll down. All right, let's go into some shoulder bridge here. So let's give me two pelvic curl. You curl the pelvis up to the bridge, hold, and exhale, we go down. Next one, we stay up, and then exhale, roll it up again, and we stay. Now, collapse your hands together underneath the pelvis, right. Push the hands down onto the floor. So strong arms, stable pelvis, right leg up to the ceiling, reach it out, and we go exhale down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pelvis stable, and three, and two, and one, hold up, 
bend the knee, take the foot down, lift the pelvis up as high as you can. And then the other leg comes out. This is my left leg. And we go down, kick and lower, kick and exhale. And, and on three, on two, on one, hold up, point, bend the knee, foot down, lift the pelvis, hold it up for three, two, one. Separate the hands. Let's roll down, roll down, roll down. Okay, lift the legs up to tabletop. Hands on your knees, curl the chest, curl the pelvis a little bit. I want you to just rock, rock, rock. Two more, last one, and bring it up. Cross the leg, transfer your body onto a prone position again. All right, we just got swimming and your swan, okay? So hang on there. Now, neck is long. Arms are reaching out, legs are reaching out, hold the belly. Now we need to lift the legs up and then lift the arms floating. And then we're going to lift arm and leg and exhale. Just like a hundred breathing here and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And three more and exhale. And two more and exhale. Hold and release. All right, bring your forearm by the side of your shoulder. I want you to draw the elbows away to your hips and neck is long, floating off the floor. Okay, now go ahead and shoulders drawing towards the pelvis and allow the head to lift up upper mid back. Go into your maximum mid back extension. Now go ahead and push the floor away to wherever you feel comfortable. You may not straighten the arms fully, that's all right. But if you can, I want you to really pull up the abdominals, to support your back, and then draw the elbows down. As you go down, your legs will start to float. Together with the feet if you can. If not, separate it a little bit, that's fine. And again, glide the shoulder blade, reach it up, push the floor away, and stay nice and tall. And again, down, down, and floating. Two more. Inhale, lift, arch, push the floor, shoulders wide, belly in, and elbows down, legs are up, floating, floating, floating. And one more, inhale. Ooh, my legs are shivering. And then bring it up, push the floor. And then go ahead and Lift the legs, float the legs over the back and release. Good job. Push the floor away. Bring your body into a rest position here. Pelvis on the heels, arms reaching out. Let's do two sets of breath for a well-deserved stretch. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. All right, bring yourself up and let's face me in a cross legged position. Okay, nice and tall. Well done for joining me today. Right hands on your knees. All right, let's do this. We're gonna round the back and I'm gonna bring the wrist to the right and then front and the left. So we're going to do a clock what clock like movement with the ribs onto one direction in just keep breathing and then one more and then center over to the other side and then round I go to my left and then over and a left front right back and a left front right back and then two more Right back. And the last one. And back. And center. Reaching the arms up. And then just reach forward. And well done. Good job. 
Well done to you for joining me today in this class. I hope you have a fantastic class and uh, I hope to see you in my other videos in the YouTube channel and I wish you a fantastic day. I see you next time. Thank you.